Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make a focaccia bread. For the bread, we have 500 grams of flour and two teaspoons of salt. Yeah, I also have two and a quarter cup of warm water, but living in Durban, you could just use two cups of water. I also have one teaspoon sugar and two teaspoon of yeast. And thereafter, I'm gonna use a splash of olive oil for the dough. Into this flour, I add up my salt. Just give it a quick mix. And to my warm water, I'm gonna add in my sugar and yeast. Also stir this very well. And I will let this to rest till it bubbles. You can see the bubbles on the top. And the reason why I want to see the bubbles, then I'll know my yeast is active. So gradually, I'm gonna pour this water into my flour. And I'm gonna stay in the water into the flour. This is the no need dough. Here's my dough. This dough has to be sticky. Hello, welcome back. Yesterday I put my dough into the fridge overnight and there's it. It's risen quite beautifully. Today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my dough into my baking tray and clean wrap it again and have it resting for two to four hours at room temperature. To start off, I've got a quarter cup of olive oil, which I'm going to spread onto my baking tray generously. Must make sure that you even cover the sides of the baking tray. Now I'm gonna transfer my dough into the tray and flatten it out. Using my hand, I'm gonna spread the dough out flat. Now I'm just gonna clean wrap this dough and leave it onto my countertop for two to four hours. It has been four hours and the dough has risen very well. And I also preheated my oven to 220. Using my fingers, I'm gonna make some dimples. I'm just going to sprinkle some dry herbs, but if you have fresh herbs, you can use them. These are my Italian herbs, and I'm just going to sprinkle in. My mixed herbs. A 
and my rosemary. I'm ready to pop this in the oven for 20 minutes, but we will keep checking. I am ready to take my focaccia off the oven. We gave it 20 minutes. It wasn't quite done, so we gave it another five. So it's 25 minutes. And look how beautiful it's done. We'll give it 10 minutes to rest, and then we're ready to serve. Here's how it look on the inside, full of air pockets and crispy on the bottom and crispy on the top. Today we are going to serve this wood, fresh tomato salad, topped with olive oil and vinegar. You can always put the topping to your liking, like some sun-dried tomatoes, fried onions, olives, feta, cheese, or just a sprinkle of some salt flakes. Pranesh tries off these recipes. Once when we get it ri right, then we show y'all. I'm not too much in these types of recipe, but because he's been the cameraman, I had to take over and show y'all how it's done. So in that process, I'm also learning, and even I'm learning some new words like focaccia. Thank you all for watching and please give this a try.